If you're a dominant verbal learner, then there's some things that you can do to really help enhance your learning experience. One of those, I think, is when you read, read out loud so that you can speak. And when you're in speaking activities, you have that scenario that's outside of the classroom and you have the opportunity to give speeches or to read over your homework or read over the chapters within books that you've been assigned or internet articles or whatever it may be, take that time to be dramatic, to say things in such a way that you're gonna remember them, that you know that it's gonna drive it home to you so that you can remember the speech that you gave to yourself when it comes down to being able to remember this information and more importantly, when it comes down to trying to apply the information. Because right, that's what education is all about. We wanna apply what we're learning. A bunch of theory without application really doesn't do much for us. But as a dominant verbal learner, you need to take those opportunities. In fact, what I'm doing right now is I'm standing in front of a camera and I'm speaking to you in studio. But what I'm doing is I am learning quite a bit about um, things that I've studied over the many years about verbal learners I'm expressing them to you in such a way that I'm gonna remember them. I know that I'll remember them better. And if I was a dominant verbal learner, that's the first thing that I would do, is find ways to express what you're learning out loud, whether it be to somebody or to yourself, so that you can um, take that knowledge and ingrain it firmly into your brain. Um, and then that'll come out in application after the fact. As a verbal learner, also, you should look to be able to explain concepts clearly to others when you have the opportunity. If you need to, maybe you need to raise your hand and explain a concept back just to make sure that you understand it within the class. You don't want to do that for every concept. Uh, that might get a little old for your teacher, but for the ones that are most important. And then maybe ask somebody in the class, if you're a dominant verbal learner, if you can explain it to them and then listen to what they have to say as they verbally speak back to you. Um, you'll find a lot of success that way because I've seen it.